bottle of water, right? <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Mark Cotter. I'm the Director of Public Works for the City of Sioux Falls, and I'm honored to take you through our program today. We're so glad you've joined us to celebrate this milestone for the City of Sioux Falls. This project has lasted more than a decade. Today, we'll be here to recognize the efforts of many people, efforts dating back 25 years, visionaries who had big ideas that now finally see those big ideas come to fruition. On July 22nd, the City of Sioux Falls announced that an agreement had been reached with the Burlington Northern Railway Company to purchase this rail yard behind us. The city has agreed to purchase this rail yard for $27.3 million using federal funds. The purchase agreement removes the majority of the rail yard um, while BNSF will still maintain two mainline tracks through our downtown. The city is set to take full possession of this rail yard uh, within two years and in, during that time frame BNSF will construct two new siding tracks in the northeast part of the city. Look around you. This is a, it's a bonus obviously to have a big locomotive from BNSF here. But behind us this view is about to change. This part of our downtown, the heart of our great city, will look much different in the years to come. Two years from now, developers will let their ideas start putting shovels in the ground, and this skyline will be different. This rail yard land will open up more opportunities for more public and private investment to enhance our city. As drivers come over the viaducts every day, which we we have about 23,000 vehicles that use the viaducts every day. Their perspective of our city will change as they come in their morning and evening commutes and as the visitors come into downtown. Sioux Falls has been committed to its core and downtown for many years. Believe it or not, this is not the first rail yard that the city has transformed. To create Falls Park West, build Phillips to the Falls, and open up the land we call Uptown, the city purchased a rail yard and three salvage yards. Look at how that area has changed and really changed our namesake park. The same potential exists here today with these 10 acres that are immediately behind me. Today we'll seal the deal on this agreement, but let's go back in time first, at least to 2005, when the South Dakota Congressional Delegation fought for federal funding so this day could happen. To give us that perspective is Senator Tim Johnson. Senator Johnson served the state of South Dakota in the United States Congress from 1987 to 2015. First as a representative and then as a senator. He's been fighting for this state and this project since the beginning. And Senator, we're so glad you could join us today. Please help me welcome Senator Tim Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. I have looked forward to this day for over 10 years. And it's an honor to celebrate this achievement with Senator DeThune, Mayor Huther, and BNSF Vice President Noble. This agreement between the railroad and the city of Sioux Falls clears the way for an even more vibrant downtown. It is for good reason that so many people are drawn to live, work, and play here. Today we add 10 more acres to downtown that will increase this energy and vibe. Mayor David Munson raised the bold idea of reducing the number of railroad tracks to Senator Thune and me several years ago. We were enthusiastic about his vision 
of a major improvement for South Dakota's largest city. In D.C., I met with the CEO of VNSF, who told me that the pilot check was doable. Knowing that all players felt that the project was viable, Senator Thune and I worked together and each of us secured a $20 million earmark for the project, a total of $40 million for the infrastructure improvement. As you know, over 10 years has passed since then, and during that time, a budgetary precision reduced the earmark. John and I were that full funding might be reclaimed before a deal was reached. It's uh, hard to imagine stronger leadership for the project than that with which Mayor Huther has provided on the local level. There were times when the project appeared to be dead, but he refused to give up. Time and again, the major players were brought to, back to the table until today's agreement was reached in a bipartisan manner. Thank you, Mayor Huther, for your tireless efforts in bringing the deal across the finish line. It took a while, but it is now a point of personal pride to all of us involved that we can say that this project finally began. Thank you. Senator Johnson said it so well. This will create a much more vibrant downtown. Let's let's give him a round of applause again. All of South Dakota's delegation has worked hard for more than a decade to ensure the $40 million from the 2005 Federal Highway Bill would be put to good use. The City of Sioux Falls would like to thank Senator Tim Johnson, Senator John Thune, who you'll hear from momentarily, Representative Stephanie Herseth Sandlin, Representative Christy Nome, Senator Mike Rounds, Governor Dennis Dugard, and many others who have helped make today possible. Please give this group a round of applause. Now I'd like to introduce Senator John Thune. Senator Thune has been involved in railroads longer than most. In 1991, Governor George Mickelson appointed him the State Railroad Director. He served three terms in the State House of Representatives from 1997 to 2003. He's been a U.S. Senator since 2005 and currently serves as a ranking member of the Commerce, Science, and Transportation Committee. Thank you for being here, Senator, and your work on this project. Please help me welcome Senator John Thune. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, day when our city's past meets its future. Uh, railroading has been an incredibly important part of South Dakota's history and its heritage. You go back over 100 years, it's part of my family's heritage. My grandfather and great uncle got here from Norway back in 1906 and worked on building the railroads as they moved across uh, western South Dakota. In fact, a lot of the towns that popped up on the prairies of South Dakota are spaced the way they are because of the needs of the railroad. Back in the time of steam locomotives, they needed the water. And so, in fact, the uh, railroad or the dam south of Murdo uh, was called the Railroad Dam because that was the dam where they went to get the water to haul it. Uh, to fuel the railroads. And here in Sioux Falls, railroads have been an active part of this community for 125 years. In fact, uh, Roger Nober at uh, the BNSF informed me that it was 1888, I think, when we first had railroads here in Sioux Falls. And it meant a lot to this state's economy, not uh, just because we were able to haul people at that time, there was a passenger component to it, but because of how important it was uh, to our 
economy to be able to get the things that we raise and grow here in South Dakota to their ultimate destination. And so railroads have been integral to the development of South Dakota, and they remain so this day. To this day, our farmers, our ethanol producers, our other rail shippers need the railroads to get their products to the marketplace. And so this partnership, which will be solidified today between Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad and the city of Sioux Falls, is an incredibly important one, not only to continue to provide the railroad service that this community and the surrounding area needs, but also to accommodate the growth in downtown Sioux Falls, which as Senator Johnson said, has created so much energy and so much buzz and so much vitality. Uh, it's something that we're all proud of and we want to see continued. In 2005, as Senator Johnson mentioned, the city of Sioux Falls, the Chamber of Commerce here, Sioux Falls Chamber of Commerce, uh, made this particular project their number one priority when it came to passage of that year's highway bill. And uh, Senator Johnson and I, as, uh, as he mentioned, were fortunate enough to be in a position to help deliver uh, the resources that were necessary to move this important project forward. And it's a, it's a pleasure to have Roger Nober here today. I worked with uh, Roger, if you can believe this, in the 1998 highway bill when he was the counsel for the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, and then have worked with him since when he was the chairman of the Surface Transportation Board, and uh, now is the uh, representative here today of the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad. But it takes a lot of folks working together to make this happen. And the city of Sioux Falls, as Senator Johnson mentioned, has been relentless under Mayor Munson, Munson now under Mayor Huther, in driving this project forward. It involved the Department of Transportation here in South Dakota, the Federal Highway Administration, obviously the railroad in the city of Sioux Falls. And I'm just pleased, absolutely pleased, that we're able to be here today to celebrate this great success. Because when it's all said and done, these 10 acres that are going to be transferred today are going to lead, they say, to somewhere along the lines of $100 million in downtown development here in Sioux Falls. So this is a big day for the city, it's a big day for our state, and it's a big day uh, for everybody who has worked so hard uh, to make it a reality. And so I'm thankful for the opportunity to be able to join you here today uh, to congratulate the city of Sioux Falls, congratulate you, Mayor, uh, for, for your work in making this happen, and, and glad to be able to join uh, Senator Johnson here because, as he mentioned, 10 years is a long time, but you know, sometimes good things take a long time to make happen. But I'm glad that we finally reached that finish line. And I told uh, Senator Johnson as we were sitting there earlier today and the mayor that uh, he and I, Senator Johnson and I, would not filibuster if the mayor would not because I know you're standing out here in the hot sun. So we want to get to the signing of this agreement as soon as possible. But I just want you to know that uh, what a pleasure it is to be able to be here and to see this come to fruition and to celebrate with all of you what is going to be a very, very positive thing. Uh, for South Dakota and for Sioux Falls. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. He's been an incredible advocate through all this journey. Let's give him another round of applause. Sioux Falls has never been accused of being short of visionaries and community leaders. A number of you are here today because you've invested in this city. Let's recognize these leaders. Please identify yourself by raising your hand as I identify you. If you've ever served as mayor of the city of Sioux Falls, raise your hand. All right, the, the groups get a little larger as we go. All right. If you've ever served as a city councilor, a city commissioner, or a county commissioner, please raise your hand and keep your hands raised. If you are or have been, a state legislator. If you have ever worked for the city of Sioux Falls, if your job is to keep the public safe, police, fire, or on the judicial team, please raise your hand, keep your hands raised. If you've served on a school board or in an educational capacity, if through your work you advocate on behalf of the city or the state, be it a member of the Chamber of Commerce, downtown Sioux Falls, Sioux Falls Development Foundation, or Forward Sioux Falls. Please raise your hand. Look around, we're in great company. Let's give these great people who are the role models a round of applause.
I'd also like to say a special thanks to the current council members that unanimously voted to approve this purchase agreement. Let's recognize our current council. We, of course, would not be here without one incredible ally, BNSF Railway Company. They went a long ways on this long journey with us and even switched tracks in 2012 and agreed to rethink this project with us. At this point in the history of this project, we're at a standstill. But BNSF team put the legacy ideas aside that were originally identified in 2001, which were big ideas like building a bridge across the falls, a large new rail yard out by Timberline. They put all those aside. Many of those were north of $50 million in cost. They took a fresh look at this project, their rail network, their current customers, they planned for growth and developed a new alternative that ultimately became the lowest cost and the lowest environmental impact. Let's give BNSF a round of applause. I would like to uh, recognize two people that are in the uh, crowd today from BNSF, Saro Drew and Aaron Hegman, if you two could stand. These are the two gentlemen that introduced the new team to rethink the project and ultimately are a key reason why we're here today. BNSF is one of North America's leading transportation companies operating 32,500 route miles of track in 28 states and three Canadian provinces. BNSF is one of the top transporters of consumer goods, grain, agricultural products, low sulfur coal, and industrial goods. Their shipments help feed, clothe, supply, and power American homes and businesses every day. BNSF and its employees have developed the most technologically advanced and efficient railroad in this industry and are part of the reason this purchase is possible. Here today to speak on BNSF's behalf is Roger Norber, Executive Vice President of Law and Corporate Affairs. He is responsible for overseeing BNSF's legal and regulatory matters, environmental, claims, compliance, communications, state government, and community affairs, and serves on the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Board. Please help me welcome Roger Norber. Well, thank you so much, Director Cotter, and uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be here on behalf of BNSF. Um, First, I'd like to start with saying that communities are a core value at our railroad, and we've been a part of this community, as Senator Thune said, since 1888. That's when we started here. I think South Dakota, I was told, became a state in 1889, so we predated as a state, but Sioux Falls was here before we were. But for a couple of things. First of all, I want to thank, them, thank Senator Thune for all of his kind words, but to say that it was very much important to us that we were able to see this through to fruition. We'd like to thank the dedication of Mayor Hugh who really had a vision to see this through and would not let this quit as well. And of course, our BNSF team, Sarun and Aaron Hegeman and Tyler White, who's also here. And just thank you all for your hard work. Um, a couple of things I would like to say just on behalf of the company. And, and the first is that we're really, if you're a railroader, there's no better site than the locomotive that's behind us. And I will say that we have 8,000 locomotives, but this has got to be the absolute cleanest locomotive on our entire system. <laughs> Our folks across the way spent four days cleaning it by hand, and I can just tell you that there is not a sharper one that we have, probably in North America. So this is, you couldn't have a better backdrop. Secondly, again, this yard dates to 1888, and I was telling some folks earlier that trying to do a project like this is a lot like renovating an old house, and that you never know what you're going to find, and no two are alike. And this is one where over the 10 or 11 years that we've been working on this, there have been a lot of twists and turns in it all. And these are very hard to do, principally because, as, as Senator Thune said, we're, we're a railroad and our job is to move freight. And so the job of the BNSF team, while to work with the community of Sioux Falls, was also to ensure that our railroad could continue to serve its customers and continue to grow. And 
clearly growing. This has been a, a, an area of tremendous growth for us. We invested $5.5 billion in our system, focused on the northern tier last year and $6 billion this year. And our goal is to be able to serve the growing energy, agriculture, and, and all the different markets that are up here. And for that, we need capacity and we need uh, the kinds of capacity that we had in this yard. But through everyone's commitment and hard work, we were able to get here. It's, I, I know a lot of communities would like to do something similar, and we, we tip our hat to Sioux Falls for being able to make it happen. And as a 128-year community partner here, we're just glad to be a part of it. So, Mayor Huther, Senator Johnson, Senator Thune, thank you for your, your vision and leadership in this, and we appreciate being able to help the community to its next stage. So, appreciate that. Thank you. BNSF has been a great partner. Many may or may not know they have over 50 employees that live and work right here in Sioux Falls. Roger's been an advocate for this project. Let's give him a round of applause. All right, uh, as Senator Thune says, it takes a lot of people and there's more partners to thank. Many partners have been engaged in this project from the very beginning. We'd like to thank the Ellison Eastern Railroad, the DNI Railroad, the South Dakota Department of Transportation, the Federal Highway Administration, project consultants of HDR, Mark Mickelson and Company, Alfred Benish, Hosh Appraisal, Hall Wittes Appraisal, Sioux Falls Area Chamber of Commerce, Sioux Falls Development Foundation, the Sioux Falls Metropolitan Planning Organization, and Downtown Sioux Falls. In addition to these groups, many current and former city staff members have played a big part of this project. Special thanks goes to Josh Peterson. He's here, he's our project manager. I'd like to recognize Josh. <laughs> Diane Best is our legal advisor. Mike Cooper, Darren Smith, Kendra Simmons-Ma, Chad Heavey, Gary Halstead, Roy Fletcher, John Smith, and Steve Mentley. Let's give these this group a round of applause. What other cities have the opportunity to redevelop and rethink 10 acres of land in their downtown? We want Sioux Falls to be the place people want to be. Under the leadership of our next speaker, Sioux Falls has grown, thrived, and demonstrated confidence. Mike Huther has been the mayor of Sioux Falls since 2010. Please help me welcome Mayor Mike Huther. Thank you. Hundreds and hundreds of years from today, these 10 acres of land before you will be providing unconscionable dividends for the citizens of Sioux Falls. This was the intent of Senator John Thune and Senator Tim Johnson and other visionary leaders who rallied to secure the $40 million congressional appropriation back in 2005. The United States taxpayers trust the 175,000 residents that call Sioux Falls, South Dakota their home to spend these hard-earned tax dollars prudently and effectively. I have no doubt we will ultimately create a place to live, work, and play beyond our imagination right now. Thanks for investing in us, America. Securing these dollars was not easy. The project since then has been no less difficult. That is probably the way it should be. Tenacity is the word that keeps spinning and spinning in my mind today. Tenacity, the quality or state of being stubbornly unyielding. When the funding was secured back in 2005, no one expected it would take an additional 10 years before the wheels were put into motion to begin to develop this land. There's certainly been a bevy of twists and turns, highs and lows, and yes, Sioux Falls in South Dakota, some mistakes and some lessons learned. Many times in, in government and in life, there's a tendency to give up the fight 
citizens all across the United States. They want government. They want business. They want citizens to get things done. Hey, America, this rail yard development project is a case study on how to get things done. It has proven extremely difficult, and I'd be fooling you if I said that I personally did not become frustrated and concerned at times. However, it was during our deepest and darkest hour that provided the most intriguing chapter of this story. In a BNSF railway company office in March of 2012, a group of determined leaders from BNSF, South Dakota's congressional delegation staff, the state of South Dakota, the city of Sioux Falls, and other community leaders had the strength of purpose to challenge and hold each other accountable. And yes, to dig deeper. We were a group of dogged allies determined to figure this out. Our most important ally, BNSF Railway, has been playing a vital role in America for 160 years, while impacting this town, Sioux Falls, for 125 of them. When you are in the trenches with these men and women of BNSF, you quickly see how they earn an unending record of success. They're out of the box, they're out of the box thinking got this project on track again. It was the steam for the engine that we sorely needed. But our work was far from over. More hurdles to clear, more processes to complete, more laws to follow, more checks and balances, more meetings. Since this dream started way back in 2001, there have been countless men and women who have made a positive impact. All serve their country, their state, this city, and their businesses with distinction. These warriors and, their, and these heroes, they deserve our thanks in so many ways. <clears throat> Public Works Director Mark Cotter is certainly one of them. One of my first meetings after being elected mayor in 2010 was with Mark when we discussed this task. It did not take long for me to realize just how challenging this is going to be. After countless meetings with Mark on this topic, he would always end it by saying, inch by inch, Mayor, inch by inch inch. This BNSF 8065 locomotive behind me, it was built in Erie, Pennsylvania back in February of 2014. It weighs 416,000 pounds with its last assignment, transferring cement loads from Pueblo, Colorado South Dakota. It came a long, long way to get here today. As Mark Cotter would say, inch by inch, Mayor, inch by inch. This rail yard purchase agreement between BNSF Railway and the City of Sioux Falls has come a long way as well. Inch by inch, mile by mile, on a journey that seemed like a marathon. The tenacious work has been worth it, Sioux Falls. As South African leader Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Today, the rail yard relocation, which many thought impossible, is done. Thank you. Hard to match this mayor's passion. Let's give him another round of applause. All right. Well,
for the best part of today, let's sign this agreement. We can have the mayor and Roger at the table and Diane Best come up and administer the documents. Roger just said, what if there's something in those documents we don't like? And we said, no more. Pens are down and it's time to sign this agreement. wrap this up. Sioux Falls, the rail cars are finally connected and this train is ready to leave the station. Thank you again to all of you who came out today to celebrate this memory day in Sioux Falls. This evening's not over yet. Please plan to stick around for some great appetizers and music. Uh, thank you to the Sioux Area Chamber of Commerce and Downtown Sioux Falls that have sponsored this event and the social will include hors d'oeuvres, punch, and music from Jim McKinney Quartet. Thank you for coming.